up guys, welcome back to the gym. My name is Jay Cruz and you are watching Threefold Fitness. It's been a couple weeks since we posted the last video, but like I, I just been like thinking, cause you know, a lot of the stuff in here, I'm, I'm happy with the gym. There's no new pieces that I need, but if you hang out with me long enough, you'll realize that like I learn about being content either with what I have or the way that I am, but always trying to be better. So I'm content with the gym, but I want it to be a little bit better. So what can you, what can you think of that we would do to make it better? Like, oh yeah, sure. There's a couple pieces that I think that I would need, but we're going to actually fix one thing in the gym. If you looked this way, so the camera right now is on auto ISO, which means that it changes brightness based upon the way the sensor is on the camera way. It, so it'll change the lighter or darker how it needs. So this is the way that it looks in this direction, right? It looks kind of bright because there's the window source coming over there. But on this side of the gym, if you were actually here in person, it's really dark on this side of the gym. It's almost like a dungeon. Let's change. We're going to change the ISO on the camera to show you exactly what it looks like in this space. So if you were to look at this space, it probably just went all crazy right now, but we're going to get it to the exact darkness that it is. Are we there? So how dark it looks right now is how it looks in person. So we want to fix that. And I thought of a, a bunch of different things. Like if you've seen really like cool gyms, cause I want my gym to be cool. It already is cool, but we're trying to make it a little bit better. Okay. Thought about putting like a rim, like light all the way around the whole top of the gym to go all the way around to add some like overhead light to, to shine down. I didn't realize when they put the lights in here that they made them really spaced, spaced out, which is cool. It has a little bit of mood, a little, a little bit of a vibe, but we're going to do something different. We're actually going to put lights behind our mirrors to give it a little bit more of a, um, just a cool vibe in here. And then also, so I got these, these lights. These were Christmas lights that we had that we used on the front of the house. And, um, it made the house look kind of like, like a ice, icy, um, castle village type thing. Um, and I'm going to use them here in the gym to add some little bit of ambient light. Cause you can change these. I'll show you on the app. You can change the color temperature, the color, um, profile of these. I have like eight of those. So we're going to put those around the gym, other places. And then this right here, these are led like strip lights. So first of all, it comes with all these attachments. I've used these before, so I'm not like taking a risk on them. It comes with all of these, so you can, you can string them together. And a lot of you in your gyms right now probably have these, but I don't like the way that they, they just look normally. Like, so we're going to put them. I'll show you in a second. I had a couple of ideas. Um, I use them. Um, I used to work at a church. And the room that I used for like our video production there, I did video production there. The room that I used for video production was kind of a dungeon. So I bought these lights and I put them up on the roof or the ceiling to make the room brighter. And so I've used them. They're really good. A lot of you guys, like I just mentioned, have them in your garages. They work well, but I don't like the way that the cable, these cables over here, the way that they look, once you string them together, they're not that pretty. So my first idea was to put it right here like this on the sides. And I actually have one. Let me show you real quick. I have one under here because I used it to light up the dumbbells. So let me turn them on real quick. Okay. See how bright they are. So my idea at first was to put them like this on the sides. See how much that light that already brings up into the room. And then two on the bottom, because these are, uh, I think it's six by six by eight mirrors or four by eight. One of the two, these are each four feet each. Um, so two across the top, one on each side and two across the bottom to give it that light. But like, this is so bright on your eyes. So I thought, oh, let me just get some wood and put wood in the front of it to kind of frame out the mirror and then put these behind that. And I went to Home Depot and the Home Depot was, the wood was freaking expensive. So I was like, we're not doing that. 
we're gonna figure out a different way to do this. So I got a couple other supplies here. Let me turn that off real quick. So we're gonna put them behind the mirrors. And I thought, how do you do that? Well, well we have these brackets here. Um, I have all this stuff. I'm gonna put all, a link to all these things inside the description below so that you guys can either purchase them or whatever you want for yourself. Um, I, I highly recommend those LED lights, but we'll see how this looks once I'm finished. But um, I got these corner brackets. What these corner brackets are gonna do, they're two inch brackets, the ones I have on there right now, are like a half inch, and they hold it flush against the wall. So I'm gonna put these corner brackets on, which are two inch that are gonna hold it two inches off the wall or an inch and a half off the wall. And then the lights will go behind and be tucked behind the mirror. How am I gonna attach the lights to the wall? Well, those things weigh almost nothing. They weigh not even, a, not even a quarter of a pound. So if you guys ever use command strips before, these that I bought are 12 pound weight uh, capacity. I'm gonna put two of these on each of those lights. So this would be way overkill for each light bulb. Light bulb. But we're gonna put them behind there and we're gonna see, attach them with these, and we're gonna see how well this corner of the room is lit. So. Uh, first thing we got to do is take the mirrors off the wall. Okay, so correction, I have a resident um, command strip professional here at the house that uses command strips for everything. And this is what it says. It says up to six pounds for one or for two and up to 12 pounds for four because it has this little picture here. I'll show you guys a picture of this maybe, but basically each one is three pounds. I'm not sure why it says 12 pounds on the front of the thing. That's pretty deceptive on their part. Okay, just to show you real quick what this is attached with. This is what it's attached to the wall with. That's what we'll be replacing that little um, bracket right there. And hopefully it elevates it far enough away from the wall so that this light right here can fit behind it. So that's the goal. Listen, I practice and preach safety in the gym this dumbbell rack can hold a ton of weight, you know? I don't weigh a ton. We'll be fine. Oh, can I have that pencil? I brought a pencil out. Can I have a pencil real quick? What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to mark the wall just so I can make sure that L bracket is um, in the same spot. So when I place it on here, um, I know how if the holes line up with the um, screw anchors and I know whether I need to adjust it or not. So that's what I'm doing with that. So I know you guys didn't really see the installation of this, but this is like a reverse installation. So you guys get to see kind of like how it works. We'll just put it on the floor here. One moment, please. One of my concerns was the way the light leaks out behind the mirror. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna put um, the lights on the ground, how we want it on the wall, and then put the mirror on top of it and see how the light leaks out the back and sides because I want it to be even. So we might have to angle the lights a little bit rather than just putting them flat, but I wanna see what it looks like before I put it up so I'm not like, oh, I hate the way that looks. All right, so potentially, this is how much light it'll give us. Let's see what, what it does. Let there be. Light. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Okay, so we're getting what we want, a ton of light. That part's working. Now let's just see um, what that looks like in comparison to once we put the um, mirror over the top of this, because I want to see how the light leaks out the sides, if it's uh, consistent, all, all, all the sides. We're gonna. I feel like the, I feel like the light looks consistent all the way. Mm -hmm. So here's what's gonna happen. That light 
will bounce off the ceiling. So it's right now it's bouncing off black. So once it's on here, it'll bounce off the ceiling and give us some, it'll bounce off this way and give us some light. And then we're gonna have double this. Here is our current setup. We have this Milwaukee, uh, it is a laser level, but it's also a vertical and horizontal level and it levels all the way across the room. We have it set up. See, look at these things are meant for more than just practical plyo box cardio movements. We have them here to hold this up because my stand isn't high enough. And what we're doing is I'm um, gonna put the laser level up where we want the top of the top light or the beginning of the top light to be so that it's nice and straight and level. We have the mark, which you might not be able to see. It's right here. Let's see. It's right there is where the uh, screws went into the wall and that's where we want the top of the light. So that's where we're gonna be placing it. We're gonna put the lights um, on with these command strips here and Laura right now is placing them on there. One of the quick tips of this um, process is you have to make sure the wall is clean where you want to put it because if you don't make the wall clean then it has potential of just sticking to dust or sticking to like particles of who knows what and then it'll just fall off the wall. So we've hung very heavy things. These things are very light. This should be um, a no problem for these command strips. Listen, we're being safe, okay? Yeah, this, this is a, this. The dumbbell rack is made for more weight than what's on it. Also consider this. The, the other dumbbell rack over there has more. One of my main concerns when we were doing this is having a very clean look and not having any like wire show or anything like that. So when we put this wire on there and it's on the that right hand side or left hand side, whatever side it's on, there's just this little piece that sticks out. So we're going to bend that as hard as we can without kinking the, the cable. Not that it should matter with electricity, we're not going to be moving it a bunch but we'll hard bend it in as far as we can, tape it against the actual light itself so that it stays kind of out of the way. Can you uh, flip the switch over there? The, the orange button? Uh-huh. Oof. Oh. Okay. So on the wall, it definitely puts some light in here. All right. I don't know whether you guys can see this on your end of the video. Hopefully not, but it's completely blown out. And once we put the mirror on there, uh, hopefully it'll, it'll keep this effect because that's what we're looking for. All right, so here is what we have on the wall. It is, it looks, looks, you know, it's really level because we use the level, but it also looks just kind of ghetto because <laughs> we just put this tape on here. And, uh, but that's okay because the mirror is gonna cover that. This is why actually having the light mirror is an advantage. It's super light, uh, no pun intended, but with a regular mirror, you wouldn't be able to put lights behind it like this without putting the mirror in the casing first. And what we did was removed. So what we did was remove this bracket. So this tiny bracket right here and we replaced it with this larger black bracket. 
and um, just move this one off of there and put that one in right there. And then the light actually fits perfectly behind this. Let me find the light. Here's the light. I'm gonna show you real quick. So this light with the command strip is gonna fit perfectly behind here. See this? And it might even put a little bit of pressure on it. And a little bit of pressure is okay because it'll make sure the command strip doesn't release. But the other good thing about this light specifically, like if this light produced heat, I would say, hey, you don't wanna do this because you're putting it behind this um, mirror and it's gonna create heat, but it won't create heat because these are not hot at all. And they're super low voltage, super low energy, and they're going to be able to um, produce all the light that you've already seen, not cause a fire, and not produce heat behind it. The other thing about the light mirror is that it has, it's coated with metal, so it's not gonna catch fire. Um, and it's, um, I think the, the core is like a foam core. But the cool part about it is I was worried about that bracket and the weight of the mirror, even though it's really light, it's maybe five pounds, the bracket coming off the wall and, you know, potentially, you know, sagging or anything like that. But the frame of the mirror is actually metal all the way around. So it's gonna be super solid. We considered for a split second attaching the lights to the back of the mirror to make it even, but that's the cool part about having the right tools. With the Milwaukee um, laser level, we were able to do that no problem and um, shouldn't be any issues. So um, now this is the fun part is putting it back on the wall and seeing what it looks like on the wall because that's when it really matters. If it doesn't look good on the wall, then it's all for nothing. All right, so what we're doing right now is we're putting it back up on the wall so I can add extra um, screws to it. You need to move it a little bit closer for me, please. Okay, a little bit down, a little bit up. A little bit down. Let me pop this in there. Uh, let me introduce you guys to my daughter, Riley. She she does stuff like this. This is this is normal. She's not acting. This is what she does. Yeah, somewhere over there, please. That will work perfectly. All right, now those are in. We are ready to put the mirror back on the wall, but first, I'm gonna show you what they've been doing over here. This is what they've been doing. This is what they've been up to. Okay, I need you to suspend yourself in midair. All right, you do it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I don't. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> See, I told you. Be careful. Right here. Just oh, I have to move it back. All the anchors lined up perfectly. And last one. Okay. Now, for a moment of truth, what do you think? Let me hold this up there a little real quick. Okay, so it's all in. Now, um, the question is, is it gonna do what we want it to do? Did you already click it? 
Whoa. That looks so good. And now on camera, it doesn't look like it should look in real life. And here it looks a little bit dark still. Let me change it to what it actually is in real life. Real life is right, about right there. So that's what it looks like actually in here now. Way better lit, way well lit, far better. And that's only with one up. When we get the other one up, it's gonna be pretty intense. I think it'll be where we want it to be and I don't have to light the rest of the room. I wish we were handy enough to like first try just like, oh, just do something like this, you know? Okay, legit, it's it's light over here now. But look at, it, do, it does light the front of you. Look at this. All right, so we have the other light we just finished that, you just saw the completion of that. We'll have a reveal in just a moment, but I just wanted to explain this light. This light is, uh, like I said before, is a light that we used for Christmas. We use it to light up our house. It works really well, it's weatherproof, but I'm bringing them inside to add a little pop of color inside of here. The theme, as you've seen many times before, is like gray, blacks, whites, and uh, that's cool, but like, you know, sometimes you want pop of color. These are very simple to use. You just go to the app, and once you're in the app, once you plug this in, whoa, I'm sorry. Let's turn it this way. Uh, it'll turn on like that. And then all you do is go to, um, I can't show it to you here cause I already have it paired, but it'll come in here on this list and it'll tell you to, to basically pair it. You pair it, it'll blink a few times and boom, it's, it's paired. So now that we have this on, I can turn it off with a click of a button cool thing about this light is you can make it pretty much almost any color of the rainbow so I can turn it on here's green yellow red pink magenta sorry um, you know this fuchsia blue it looks different because this wall is like a grayish green so um, you know the light is not the true light but then you can also like I say that's really bright and you want it to be a little bit less you can turn it down you turn down the intensity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this light in a few different spots um, behind some equipment in the room. And I think that'll be the final thing. It's really easy. There's no real installation. You just pop it down. Again, I will put this also in a few links below so that if you wanna check them out, you can check these lights out. Super cheap and they do a lot in terms of color without having to do a ton of installation. And if you actually wanted to install them, they do have these uh, holes in the bracket so that you could screw them into something if you really needed to put them on a wall and you want them like facing down, you know, crazy light color um, for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know why, but I'm gonna choose to put mine so that they face upwards. So I think I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna put two back behind this here into like this space right here and right here. And then I'll put another one I think I want to highlight um, this a little bit behind here. So I'll put one also behind there. And I think you guys have actually seen, if you saw the functional trainer review, you actually saw these already in, in play behind this one. And I had them lit up green and it, and it just added this extra pop of color. So they're already behind that one, but I'm gonna add another one to this one. I'm gonna add two more to the other um, rack over there. And then maybe in the future, if I see some other place that could use them, um, I'll add them there, but for now, those are the only three places that I'll put them. And um, we're gonna pull the shades down over here so we can get a little bit more dramatic like reveal of what it looks like.
now you guys seen the before and afters of the gym. I wanted to show you guys real quick what it looks like with um, these lights over here, how quickly and easily you can change them depending on what mood you're in. It's very easy to just move this slider and change the color of the room. And you can also change the brightness of it. Maybe you want a little bit brighter, you can make them brighter. So that's the easy way to do it. I did it coming from the ground because I didn't like, they're really bright. So like you wanna really keep them out of people's eyeballs. And if they are too bright, you can always just turn it down. That's like 35% right there. That's at 100%. Um, I'll put all the links in the description below of all of the items so that you guys can, if, if you liked what I did, you can do the same thing too. Uh, let me know what you guys think, what you have done. I, actually in, in your home gyms, maybe in your office, to uh, spruce up the space and make it just more appealing to be in and more fun to be in. Um, and what other ideas that you have that maybe I could do here because I'm always looking forward to the next thing. I'm thinking of doing a few art projects to put on the walls. Um, maybe we'll put that in an upcoming video, but thank you guys so much for um, your support. Thank you so much for all the things that you guys comment. And um, just, I know that you guys are interactive on my um, YouTube channel and I appreciate that. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you haven't subscribed, you can do that right now. And if you already have subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I'm gonna make some more improvements, so stick around. We will see you in the next video.